looking with the eye as its object cannot give up its nature as an instrument of looking. Yet valid cognition negates that the eye perceives itself. Thus the subject, the eye, is not an instrument of looking at form by way of its own entity, because it does not look at itself. Assertion, the eye alone does not have the ability to view form. The form is seen in dependence upon a combination of three factors. Answer, since the eye is matter it is not conscious of the object. Consciousness is not that which looks at the object. The form, the objective condition, is neither that which looks nor consciousness. V. Can form be seen by way of its own entity through a combination of these three factors? It follows that it is not feasible because visible form which is one of them has no ability to see. Just as form cannot be looked at in terms of its own suchness, sound too cannot be listened to in this way. When sound is heard, does hearing occur because it approaches as an object of that which listens or not? In the first case, if it approaches as an object of auditory consciousness, does it do so emitting sound or silently? If it travels toward auditory consciousness making a noise as it travels, why is it not a speaker, since like Devdutta it travels, emitting sounds? If this is accepted, it follows that it would not be sound. Alternatively, if it travels toward auditory consciousness noiselessly, how could awareness focusing on the sound be produced, since no sound is emitted? Furthermore, if sound is apprehended through contact with the ear organ, what apprehends the beginning of sound before contact occurs? It follows that there is nothing with which to apprehend it, since neither the ear organ nor any other does so. If this is accepted, it follows that it would not be sound. Sound consists of nine substances and thus since it does not come alone, how can sound in isolation be apprehended? It follows that smell and so forth which are inseparably combined with it would also be apprehended, for according to you they must, like the sound, have contact with the ear organ. Question, what is wrong if the beginning of sound is not apprehended? Answer, it would fail to be sound. Until it is heard it is not sound because, like smell, it is not the ear's object. It becomes sound when it is heard. If initially it was not sound but later became sound, it would follow that smell and so forth could do so too, but this is unacceptable with regard to permanent functional things. Sutra says, assertion, the mind apprehends objects after traveling to them. Answer, that is incorrect. Auditory consciousness does not travel to the object along with the ear organ, for the organs always remain in the body. Even if mind, such as an auditory consciousness, approached its object without the sense organs, how could it perform the functions of listening, looking, and so forth, since like a blind person it would lack the ability to perceive its object? If it were so, why would that which lives, i.e. the self, not always be without mind? When one investigates in this way by means of reasoning, neither sense organs nor consciousnesses have by way of their own entity the ability to apprehend objects. Objection. If sense organs and their objects do not exist inherently, the aggregate of recognition which discerns what is exclusive to them will be non-existent. Answer. Although they do not exist when analyzed by reasoning, they are not conventionally non-existent, for mental consciousness apprehends the exclusive aspects of an object such as a visible form which has already been perceived. For instance, though a mirage does not contain even a drop of water, a recognition of water occurs. Likewise that which perceives the exclusive aspects of an object, a mental factor positing the exclusive signs of all phenomena, is called the aggregate of recognition. Phenomena are simply posited by recognition and do not exist by way of their own entity. Objection. If the aggregate of recognition does not exist inherently, it is impossible to posit phenomena. Answer. There is no such error. Even though it does not exist by way of its own entity, mind arises like a magical illusion in dependence upon the eye in visible form. Any phenomenon whose existence is existence by way of its own entity cannot be called illusory, just as women who exist in the world are not called illusory. Assertion It is amazing to claim that the sense organs can in no way whatever apprehend objects and that visual consciousness is produced in dependence upon the eye in visible form. Answer, that alone is no cause for amazement. 
although when analyzed by reasoning a sprout and so forth neither comes into existence from a seed which has ceased and nor from one which has not ceased, sprouts are produced in dependence upon seeds. When to the wise there is nothing on earth which is not as amazing as magic, why should one think that cognition of objects by sense consciousnesses which do not have true existence and such like are amazing, for this applies equally to everything. Thus all dependently arising phenomena are like the ring formed by a firebrand which is whirled quickly. Though the woman created through meditative stabilization and the dream body do not have true existence, they act as causes for erroneous attachment to the self. Although the illusory maiden conjured by a magician does not have true existence, she confuses the mind. Similarly the moon and the water, mists and echoes resounding from mountain clefts and caves give rise to a distorted perception of them as they appear to be. A mirage causes mistaken perception, and clouds in the distance seem like mountains. Worldly existence consisting of environments and living beings, while empty of inherent existence, is able to function. Understand that it is like these analogies. Sutra says, the summarizing stanza, this is the thirteenth chapter of the 400 on the yogic deeds, showing how to meditate on the refutation of sense organs and objects. This concludes the commentary on the thirteenth chapter, showing how to meditate on the refutation of sense organs and objects, from essence of good explanations, explanation of the 400 on the yogic deeds of bodhisattvas.